How's it going, everybody? Welcome back to Planet Coaster for episode number two. Um, at the end of last episode, as I was saying, I did put in more scenery, got the uh, Q ratings up and stuff like that. I did uh, off screen. I built some different types of coaster stations, train stations. I found some blueprints to use and um, I also have a coaster that I built in a sandbox mode that I want to use for this part too if I can if there's enough room I know there's a hill in the back that can possibly alter that plan a little bit um, if not we'll just custom build a new one no big deal um, I did look at the comments on the last video and they were asking for some background music and stuff like that but the more we go the more ambient sounds we're going to have in the game but i did however take into consideration the background music and stuff like that so not only do we have the carousel that we'll be hearing but if you listen very closely you got you know some ocean sounds some birds and some drums so what I did is right in here I put in one speaker right here another speaker here one right there and one right here there's four there and I didn't put the drums over here because we have the carousel music but we still have the ocean sound we got the lake shore we have another one right here, which is the Pirate Harbor. I haven't really heard that one too much. I'm not really sure what that one actually sounds like. I might have to get somewhere out in the park somewhere away from everything. See exactly what that one sounds like. And then I have this one right here, which is Seashore. So we got the Lakeshore and Seashore. So we have some different sounds going on. But... Um, what I want to do today, oh, I do have some food court buildings and stuff like that that I built and also blueprints that I found. Um, I'll let you guys know which ones I built, which ones I got already off the Steam Workshop. And if you guys like the ones I built, if you want to, I can upload them to the Steam Workshop as well. That way you guys can use them as, you know, in your parks. But what I want to do today is... As you can see down here, we're on year number eight. Because last night, what I did is I kind of sim through a little bit because not only was I doing the scenery and stuff, I needed money for it, but I also went ahead and did a lot of research. Um, so that way we're not held up by, you know, waiting on stuff. And everything else so we have a bunch of different um, as you can see we have a bunch more different uh, shops here we have a bunch of food drink because before we only had the cosmic cow milkshakes and the cosmic cow milkshake vending machine it's all we had so and then we also have some gift shops now and stuff like that so what I want to do so that way we can get more money piling in um, I'm going to go ahead and extend out the, uh, I guess you can't really hear the music too much if you're not zoomed in all the way, huh? But, um, what I wanted to do is extend out the pathway a bit more, bring more people out this way, and I want to fill in more flat rides, get more people in the park, get more money coming in, and then, uh, what I'll do is I'll fill in some more vegetation and stuff like that around the stalls or uh, queues. Um, let's go ahead and first off get our pathway here. And like I said, I kind of want to just kind of zigzag this around. So let me do this and try to place a few rides here. And see what we can come up with.
All right, so that actually took up a big chunk of change and it's gonna take a little while for the money to build back up. Let's uh, see here. As of right now, the prestige is 352. Go ahead and test that. And what I'm gonna do, I am going to copy some of this like that copy and I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can squeeze some of this in I'm gonna have to possibly move some stuff but oop actually you know what I forgot to uh, adjust the height of that actually that's kind of too round let me take some of that and copy that. That's a little bit better. All right, so let's rotate this around here. Lower it down to where it's actually looks halfway decent. All right, now. Try to get it to where it's there. Uh, let's see, rotate this around. Will it fit in there without? Well, let's sink that and down a little bit too. And then this rock. Need to move that. Ooh. Rotate that around. Well, maybe not. That'll work. Um, this rock here, that's... I mean, it can be rotated. That's about it. It looks halfway decent there. What if we... Do that. Alright. So, the scenery rating is... 18. Let's go ahead and recopy this. And you know what? I'm going to push it around that direction. Sink it down. Well, let me go ahead and finish this up and get the scenery rating up to 100%. And we'll get this thing opened up. All right, so we got this thing up to 97%. Um, trying to think if we can possibly maybe fit a tree in or two, like right in here, maybe right there. Let's see if can we fit maybe one of, where's it at? Come on, let me select you tree. Do it this way? I didn't want both of them. I just want one. There we go. 
Copy that. Trying to keep it tropical and a little bit colorful and put that right there and copy it, rotate it. So that way it's not exactly the same. Now, what's that looking like now? 100%. There we go. All right. So, let's see. The prestige is 495. So, let me get my calculator open. All right. So, that's $14.14. 14 so, 14 14 and open. All right. So that should bring a few more guests down this way. Um, why do I open up the scenery? All I need to do is... Well, I guess I could possibly just click on barrel. Bring this down so it's closer. That way there's a trash barrel. Grab one of these. Always need some seating because guests do get tired from walking around and also if they feel sick or anything like that, it's always good to have them be able to sit down, especially since we don't have a first aid in the park yet. You need a first aid um, sometimes to help with that. Let's get another trash can down here and another one there. And why not? One right there. Alright. That should help bring some more people in. Another thing I need to do is my information kiosk. Not wild blue. That's the other thing, guys. Um, if you guys could, I want this to be as interactive as possible with you guys. So, help name the rides. And also... Um, the park. We still don't have custom names for any of the rides, and we need to name our park. Oops. Why does that say selected display speakers? Cancel. You know what? <clears throat> that advertised destinations. The whole dang thing. Confirm. There we go. Now... That was the other thing I did too. I did get an information kiosk put in. So now um, the other thing we can do is right now we are charging guests $5 for priority pass. So we need one, two, three, four, five. So let's raise that up to six. There we go. So now people should also be using the priority queue whenever yep there they go that's all working just fine and we are in the negatives right now i might hold off on oop let's review the research I might hold off on the research for a little while uh oriolis family ride uh, we got Gears of Fear Thrill Ride. And we have Lightline Track Rides, a monorail. And uh, we do have some other stuff we can research, but we're going to hold off on that because we have all the shops and stuff right now uh, that we can get. But we need... Look at all the people coming down here now. And our... They, a lot of them are getting turned away. What are they saying? Too expensive. Okay. Well, let's drop it down to 13. See what they say about that. And a lot of them are still getting turned away. Once again, I don't know if it's because they don't have that much money. 
Let's see, how much money does they do they have? $218. They've only spent $46.50. See, eventually what I'd like to do is be able to get it to the point where we don't need to charge for the park rides. We can just charge for the park entry fee. Just like normal theme parks are these days. But all right, we're going to speed up time here. And there's still quite a few people getting turned away. That's money we're losing. I'd rather charge lower amount and get everybody that wants to ride it than to have the general population get turned away. So still 7% saying it's too expensive. But I think most of them, and there's still some getting turned away, but nobody's thinking it's too expensive. Well, never mind. Let's lower down to 12. And still people are getting turned away, but not nearly as many. But as you can see, the queue's starting to get a little backed up here, which is okay. I mean, this thing can hold quite a few people. That's what? Two, four, six, eight, ten. That's 20. That's 40 people per, per ride. That's quite a few people, actually. And we're up to $6,000 now. So just like that, with all these people in here. All right. So now let's see if we can get another ride. Because the more rides we have, the better. Because that's just more people staying in the park for longer and more people riding stuff. And, uh... Why can't I put that there? How expensive is it? That's 2,700. Why can't I put this... Or can I? Maybe I... Obstructed. Oh, because of the swing. Ah, because this actually raises up and then rotates. So it's actually in the way because of that. And I can't put this out here because of... The edge of the park. Let's rotate this around like this. That way we can put the exit right there so that way the mechanic can get right into it to maintain it. And... Put the entrance over here on this side. Exit right there by that. And let's see here. What can we do with this? Full load. Do that. Uh, we'll enable priority pass here a little bit. We're not going to do any type of music on the ride. Honestly, I think this actually has music too, doesn't it? Yes. Let's turn that music off. That makes it really quiet. Can we do some type of pirate? Classic, rock, adventure. Uh, is there a pirate? Like the speakers had? Spooky. Pirate. There we go. All right, so what do we have? Shanty Town. Ah! Where'd that go? What's Shanty Town sound like? Can't hear the music if it's not running. Get the people on there. I think music actually also helps with uh, the prestige as well. All right, so that's that. Sailing the high seas. What's the Tub Thumper Trio? Yeah, we'll keep it at that for right now. Just give it that that keep it with that theme that we have going on, you know? 
All right, let's get back to this. Uh, what were we doing? We wanted to try to change up. Where is... There it is. All right, so flat spin, left tilt spin, right tilt spin. Anti-clockwise. Clockwise. Then we'll end up with the flat spin. Do that and see what the prestige looks like after that's done. But once again, we'll come around with it like this. I'm going to do things a little bit differently here because we will have the priority pass as well. Ah! Try to change it up a little bit. All right, and then enable priority pass entrance right there. Exit. Right there. Okay, path. There we go. All right, so that's doing that. It's very quiet over here without any of the other stuff going on. So what I'm going to do, do this. Click on, no, just that. Come on. Why can't I not select? Oh well, I'll just do one at a time, I guess. So let's go ahead and copy this. And these will end up getting mixed in with some scenery here. I just want to get some ambient sounds over. I don't want the, all the rides to have music. It would just get way too congested with sounds. So if I can keep the same kind of sound throughout the whole entire park with these speakers. There's three and then the fourth one. One, two, three. There it is. Four. I knew it was there somewhere. There we go. Now, I wish there was a way of turning the volume up on these. But you can hear the birds, you can hear the drums. And can't exactly hear the, the ocean, the seashore one, but all right. Now still got 5,000. I didn't need to fill in this gap right here. It's amazing what little tiny plants and stuff can really do to change things. Really don't want the rock. I don't mind plants poking through um, railings and stuff, but when rocks do it, it's just not the best look. Maybe if we move it over to here. There we go. All right, so we're starting off with 36%. Not too bad. Let me finish this up and we'll get this ride opened as well.
All right, so that took a little longer than I expected because I'm right alongside of the edge of the park. And I wasn't able to build anything or put any scenery like right here. So I had to find something that was kind of tall and skinny. So I had to fill in those gaps right there. And I think it turned out looking pretty decent. I mean, it's pretty tree heavy on this side, but I mean, we'll we'll be able to put some more stuff. Ah, we'll be able to put more stuff over here and fill in the gaps and stuff as we go. And then I'll also probably fill in all this with some different type of you know, scenery, try to change up the scenery a little bit instead of just the same things all the way down through here. So, um, our prestige is a 579. So 579 divided by the 35, that's 1654. You know what? I'll do 15 and open that up and see what that gives us. We're up to $8,075 now. And we're up to 821 guests in the park. All right, so with that being said, um, I have some plans for the front of the park here. I don't want to do that right now, or should I? Because I'm that means I'm going to have to basically move everything from here on over so pretty much this ride and all of its scenery i'm gonna have to move that i'll probably end up moving that over here somewhere i have plans for the front entrance of the park i found a nice blueprint that'll fit perfectly in with this and then we'll do something for over here as well let me go ahead and do that i'm gonna go ahead and shut this down copy it all and then I'm gonna have to redo the queue and stuff for over here but that shouldn't be too incredibly difficult I wouldn't think I mean it's pretty self-explanatory I think I might change it up a little bit but we'll see what see what happens so let me go ahead and do that and I'll be right back hopefully when that is completed and I can go ahead and start on the front of the park. All right, so I went ahead and moved it on over here, as you can see. Um, I don't know why they're saying it's too expensive. It's $15. I mean, heck, 514 Yeah, that's 514 Well, I guess it is. Um, I'll move that down to 14 It is getting towards its cycle of being old, so that's probably why. Let's drop that down to 14. And is that still covered under... Oh, wow. That kind of scared me a little bit. <clears throat> I was zoomed out and I didn't see the, the path. I was like, uh... Alright, uh, I need this moved. Move that over to here so that way our... Janders can clean it up. I'm gonna go ahead and 
Okay. Usually, if you hold it over top of the... You hold your cursor over top of the path, it'll automatically delete if you hit the delete key. For some odd reason, it's not doing it, so... Right-clicking it is. Alright. So that's that. Now... Uh, let's see here. That advertisement destination. Okay, it is still selected, so that is good. Oh, come on. Exit out. Alright, um... Next thing I need to do is building... Where is it at? Uh, got a lot of buildings that I've either built or found on the Steam Workshop. There we go. Let it load in. Maybe. Right, there is some little scenery that I might end up having to get rid of, but... If I can get this lined up... That. That is close enough. Alright. Let's go ahead and edit building. Get rid of this. Get rid of that. Um. Get rid of that. That one and this one here, I can actually just rotate. Oh, that's uh, like ivy on the side of the building or something. We'll just put it there. All right. Um, there was another piece of. Let's see here. So this tree. Uh, I can probably just move this over to here. That. There's this rock here. I'm just going to delete that. This tree. That tree. I think that's pretty much it. Oh, nope. There's this. All right, so now I can actually have shops and stuff like that in here. Move this barrel. Yeah, I'm done with that editing, editing for right now. Move this to right here. Now, what I can do is staff building. Uh, let's see here. Edit building selected part. I'm going to split from building. Staff building. Don't know why this opening is so large here. But it'll fit in there. I can always put something else over top of it, like a doorway or something. Such as... Let's see here. What would that be? Pirate? Let's see. Uh, walls? That's not going to be pirate. Is it tropical? Or wood. Gotta be a doorway. See, what's this look like? 
That's not it. There we go. Is that going to fit in there? Try to get it lined up right there. Done. That looks a lot better. All right. Uh, information kiosk. Select building. Edit with selected part. Move this. Oh, done. I need to. There we go. Had to split it from the actual building that was in. I don't like how that thing's sticking up right there, though. And I... Let me see here. Edit. Can I edit this one piece? No. Gosh dang it. Well, we're just gonna have to leave it the way it is there. Let me go ahead and I'm gonna finish up moving the rest of these shops. Um, I can't really do anything with the toilet block right now, but that can go on its own separate block. I'm gonna move the rest of these shops so that way they're out of the way. That was the other thing I did too. I put in a hat stall and a balloon stall so people are walking around with pirate hats and balloons. Let me go ahead and move the rest of these and I will be trying to finish this up for you guys here. So that is done. We got our staff building moved over. We have our chief beef, our milkshakes, got our information kiosk, and then we have our uh, hats fantastic and loony balloons down here. So hopefully that'll help spread people out a little bit more. The only bad thing is now we need to move our tables unless what we can do I do have one other thing I would like to do uh can I do a blueprint uh where's it at where's it at where's it at where's it at I have a blueprint that I made for yeah bathrooms and there it is Oops, did not mean to do that. Building, 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 building. Here. Little pirate type theming. Bathrooms, first aid, and ATM. So this, we can just go ahead and close and delete. There we go. Oh, janitor was cleaning those bathrooms. So now we have the toilets. And now our guests actually have first aid as well. Because if we go ahead and take a look in here, I've already got the blocks hidden in there. So that is that. So our park is slowly come together and I can actually end up moving that eventually as well if I really wanted to. Um, and I might just leave the tables there for now, but I'll probably end up basically just uh, widening this path here but I think that is where I'm gonna end it here guys uh, we have two new rides in down here and then eventually I'll try to put something in down here as well um, 
It's looking kind of scarce down here for right now. But did I ever reopen this? Oh, it's broke down. Yeah, I, I opened that up and then there's people on here. How How's this doing? Q is full. Oh my. All right. So they obviously like this ride. Um, That's made $1,749 so far in its lifetime. That's made 20,000. So we're getting profitable again. We're up to $11,000. Um, I think next time what we're gonna do is we got everybody going out this direction Which we could possibly put one of these blocks in down here as well Get some restrooms and stuff down there, but we're getting people spaced out in the park now. They're not all Confined, you know right into here So I think I might start building back out this way and Maybe even next time we might be able to get our first roller coaster um, but I'm not sure because we need at least 17,000 for the roller coaster. I'm thinking if, as long as it fits um, Plus I have a blueprint for the station itself So I'll be putting that in so um, We're gonna need probably at least twenty thousand dollars, maybe twenty five thousand So we need probably about ten more thousand dollars to go But with how I mean we're back we're up to twelve thousand now so um I think we should be able to get there pretty quick next episode, especially if we put in a couple more flat rides, get more people coming into the park. And uh, yeah, we're up to 914 people in the park now. So and the park rating is up to 596. And also next time, I think we're going to start working on restaurants, possibly, because we still we haven't completed any of the challenges yet. We still need a restaurant with at least two rooms, a hotel with at least two rooms and have 25 people visit your restaurants for two months in a row. So I think that's what we're gonna do is try to extend the park out a little bit more, get another flat ride, maybe a roller coaster, and try to get a restaurant and hotel. So something to look forward to. Let's see if we can hit those goals for uh, the next episode. If you guys are liking this series so far, don't forget to drop a like and a comment below, making sure, you know, trying to name these rides. I'm leaving it completely up to you guys that way it's interactive with you, everybody. Everybody can help build this park alongside with me. Um, so leave a comment below what ride should be named what, what the park name should be. And if you have any other suggestions, let me know. I'll keep trying to make this a better experience for everybody. So like I said, we're trying with more ambient sounds here. But the bad thing is you have to be really low to the ground to be able to hear anything right now so until we get more build out maybe a roller coaster with more people screaming and roaring of coasters stuff like that it's going to be kind of quiet when you zoom out so but i hope you guys are enjoying it thanks for watching and until next time guys be safe out there and i will see you guys next time thanks for watching everybody take care